Okay, welcome everyone. Um, this is going to be a short video. Uh, we just finished a session here at Brookwood Trout Farm again. Um, I brought Emma and one of her friends out to do some fishing with kirpus and, and floats or dobberkies. Um, so yeah, um, I put some rods out as well. So yeah, but okay, I want to show you guys. Uh, we were here last week Friday as well and then hence the name of the video, The Mission. Now the mission was that both my kids wanted to break their PBs for carp. Now Emma caught a PB year the other one, when was it, December last year. She caught a PB year at 6.2 kgs. And obviously Mia with her previous PB being only just over 2 kilograms, she also wanted to break her PB. So we decided to come to Brookwood last week Friday with the idea that should Mia catch I think and I thought well the thought was that there would be a high probability of her breaking her PB and that was then the mission for the day so we didn't really film that day um, took a break from filming um, rather spend some quality time with the kids but yeah I did film the runs and yeah when we caught the fish and when we lifted it from the landing mat I filmed that as well so yeah um, this is then short video on the mission and the mission was to break PBs and this is what happened the first few clips I'm going to show you is the runs that we had from the fish Okay, so those were the runs uh, for the carp that we caught, only the three for the day. Um, I'll tell you another story that happened to me while we were here at Brookwood as well, but I'll save that for the end of the video. So yeah, those were the three runs we had, three nice runs that, um, that we had for those carp. So this is then the carp that we caught. Um, I'm just going to put them in order, well they're not or the order that we caught them in, rather I'm going to put them from smallest to biggest, and the biggest then being Mia's new PB carp at 7.7 .7 kgs and then by catching that you also broke a previous PB by over 5 kgs. Okay, so here's the carp that we caught. Okay, quick bite on this one. Um, Rod was in maybe 10-15 minutes, just recast that other uh, after Mia landed hers. So yeah, happy with this one. Not the biggest in the world, but it's fine. Um, this size puts up a nice fight. So this was landed then on um, that pine uh, not pineapple, the pepper peach pop-up from Bait Products. So yeah, and then also with some of that um, stick mix in a PVA mesh with some crushed boilies as well. You can touch it now, awesome. let's take a picture. Okay, second one for the day. Okay, yeah. so uh, Emma's first one for the day, third one then for the day for all of us. Again on the margin rod, two fake maize with some sweet corn over the top and then some crushed boilies. Um, it's, I think it's an Oceano or something, it's not squid. Uh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> it's a squid boilies from Bay Products as well. Uh, weighed in at just over 5 kgs. Oh, Emma, oh, fast. And then Emma's first one for the day. Okay, well done, Emma. Now pick the fight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. Uh, Mia's carp and also new PB. Uh, we came to break the PBs and she broke it with almost five, yeah, five kilograms. Um, this one weighing in at 7.7. .7. It's just too heavy for her to pick up. So yeah, well done, Mia. Like yeah, and she played it all by herself, landed the fish, and yeah, there we go. 7.7 .7, Mia's new PB. 
awesome. What are you making? <laughs> Her arms tired. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take some photos and put it back. Okay, so there you have it. Um, that was the mission then. Uh, Mia being able to break her PB and I'm very proud of her because she brought it in all on her own. She played that carp nice and slow, took her time, it was tired until it was in the net so yeah i'm very proud of her uh, mia has a tendency to lose carp because she uh, get, lets the line go slack or she pulls too hard and she pulls the hook out of the mouth so this was the first time that she had a proper play with a carp took her time and basically brought it into the net so i'm very proud of her and then emma as well with her carp the one that she caught was just over five kgs short but nice and fat um, so you can see the carp here already fattening up for winter yeah, okay, then I said I'm going to leave one little thing for the end. Um, I don't have a video of it or anything, I took photos. So when we got here to Brookwood, um, the lines were in maybe an hour, and my middle rod had a backdrop. And backdrop, and then it went up, and it went down again, and it went up, so I picked the rod up. I could feel it wasn't a big fish, but there was still a, a, a decent tug at the line. Um, now that line was out on just a, a small uh, pepper peach pop-up um, down through in the middle of the dam and yeah I caught my very very first bass ever also then probably my PB bass um, on a pop-up so yeah that was <laughs> quite an experience and um, you can see at the end the photo as well um, so yeah this is my PB bass that I caught um, yeah it was fun it was a fun day out so yeah, um, but Brookwood is really starting to become one of our favorite venues, especially for the, bringing the kids along as well. It's an awesome venue. It's small dams and so on, but the bigger dam at the bottom really holds some nice carp. Um, I know for certain of the biggest a photo that I've seen of what is a 12 kg carp that came out of that bottom dam. Um, and then there's rumors going around with guys seeing photos on social media of someone catching a carp over 20 kgs. Um, in this bottom dam now I so far I have to see it to believe it but yeah if there's a 20 kg carp swimming in here I'll definitely be back for more okay guys thanks for watching really appreciate it um, till next time cheers